Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Okay, today I would like to teach you about PowerPoint. What you can do using PowerPoint. You can do business card, you can do business proposal, and you can even do um, resume. It's, you know, your, you can build your talent using PowerPoint. PowerPoint can do business card. PowerPoint can do resume. PowerPoint can do business proposal. PowerPoint can do a logo design platform. What you have to do now is try to do it and learn from me. Okay? It, the more you're creative, the, the more is the what you will gain with it. You at the same time you gain the creativity, you gain the you can highlight what you can do more using PowerPoint. I actually have one experience which I collaborate with Intel and I was tutoring around 45 students in uh, secondary school you can do a lot actually please watch this and don't forget to subscribe my channel like my videos and share with your friends hopefully this video will help more people more of your, of your friends to overcome their fear oh my <laughs> English the living of the in COVID-19 unprecedented viruses that we can that will give impact in uh, employment rate in Asia so what you need to do now learn from my channel uh, I'm actually a major in mathematics and computer science so what I can do is to help boost your skills knowledge and also get you the experience to be creative and even when you get creative you can get paid for the talent that you have Okay, you just delete all this make sure you choose the blank uh, layout for PowerPoint you just right click and choose a background then you can color the background according to which color do you want since this is business card what you need to do you insert text you just type it in and you can change the color preference you want and the type of font you want the size you can do everything inside here the reason why I make two page or two layout because of the in front of the business card and also the back side of the business card if you notice Now uh, is the back side one. So you just put the information you want for a business card for your uh, like inf details information about yourself. So that uh, since this is business card, of course you want people to contact you. So you give the email, uh, your position in the business, or uh, you can also put the service that you provide. Okay, you just can make it a checklist or a bullet point in the business card so that when you give this business card to someone, people will know what this business card represented of your business. Reason why I make a borderline because I don't want my business card to be empty. So you can insert shape, uh, square shape. If you can see the insert button, you can choose almost every possible shapes that are available. But for now, it, this business card is square shape. So we, when you put a borderline, it it will look more neat. Okay, now I want to make a section on my business card. So I just insert shape. I put here so I want to change color if you can see on the right side you can see the color or you can choose the shape fill which color do you prefer you can just play around with the color available let's say you don't have the idea for your business card you can go to Google search type in business card sample so you can see the color that they matching and the same the good example of business card you can see from there so it can be your benchmark for your business card also
Okay, like for example, here I put segment because I want to put what is my service that I provide for my business marketing's fingers. So I provide digital marketing, document translation. You can list on almost everything here. Okay, don't limit your the content of your business card. Put your because represent uh because this business card represent your company and your business identity. So you put what you think it need to have on your business card, so that people can contact you. They know what your business about. If you want, if you don't want the solid color, you can also use the gradient color. So you can um, choose by uh, coloring here. See, you can move around and play around with the color gradient. So uh, to meet what you what you need with the color for your business card. Business card is not limited to text only. You can still put some picture, some icon, or some logo. But my tips is, uh, since I'm using the WPS uh, version, not the uh, Microsoft PowerPoint one, but still they use the same method. Only that uh, PowerPoint is not limited to put any pictures, but WPS software is kind of limited for us to put some png file that uh, transparent so you know what i mean like i want to put some google drive icon but i'm unable the software unable to do so because it's kind of uh, cannot put any photo with a transparent background but in powerpoint you can put it 
so it will more it will be more uh, good for your business if you put more pictures so it's like a message to your customer or your clients When you are sh sh uh, when put some shapes in your PowerPoint, don't be afraid to drag and reshape the shape on your file, okay? I always uh, design myself uh, the business card 
so when i have the finished design of my business card i after let's say i've done this i will save as a pdf file so i will send to the printer shop email so uh, they will charge me the printing price only not that this includes the design price which saved me a cost already Okay, for now I am satisfied with the design already. So I just can see uh, from top to bottom, back side and front side of my business card. This is front side and this is the back side. Any 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 of this could be the front page or the sec back page of your business card. Make sure you go to page tab and custom resize your layout because you need to follow the correct size for business card. Let's do a logo design using PowerPoint as well. As you can see on the top is a design tab. So you choose the slide size. So make sure the size you choose is one ratio one, which is a square perfect square shape for a logo. As you do, the first thing you do is color your background. Just right click and select the background. The reason why I made the square shape because most of the social media platform they use the logo like square shape but it can still use as a for circle uh, default photo for your social media file. Let's say your business is kitchen clean so you just add text and type in kitchen clean. You can choose uh, text effects also for the effects like shadow. You need to creatively use the font types, font colors, uh, text effects because text effects also have kind of a reflection effects, shadow effects, and glow effects. Uh, sorry if you heard my it's my kids' voice in the background. Let's put some circle shape in this uh, logo to fit the square because uh, I want I don't want my design text to be outside of the circle as most of the social media platform use a square default photo for, for setting so I don't want my text to be outside of the circle how I, I remove the color for the square is you choose the shape fill and select no shape fill so you can see only the border line here so I can just color and make sure the thickness of the uh, bo a circle border is big. Make sure when you save the file save as JPEG format so that you can use as image for your social media platform. logo is not only for your default photo only you can use and send it to printer shop uh, for your sticker for your products let's say you sell uh, the kitchen accessories so you can put this sticker on the on your product as well okay let's move to resume design using powerpoint if you see my previous video about how to get the job fast, is always keep update your resume design and your, your resume input. So uh, this is how I always uh, create my resume and it is not always the same, I always change the design so it can attract the viewers or uh, the HR, that uh, the talent, recruitment, who will see your resume, they will get they will like your resume because it needs it got a class and it's a new design which um, they think it represents your self and your creativity and what you can do with it
How I know my resume is effective or not is when I apply any job. Let's say I apply five positions. So in one month, if no calls or no emails from uh, or the response from the recruiters, I will upgrade my resume.
I always send the resume in the PDF file because uh, the arrangement of the format will not uh, be messy after the recreators download from their PCs. The only thing that can help you in life is yourself. Others cannot help us, but we can help ourselves. But in case after you learn this, you still have some complicated uh, small element in to apply in, let's say you are ten, you try to do a resume, but you have a problem. It's okay. You can buy from the design resume design from me. It's just a, a professional design, not a graphic design a resume. No, because they can. It's a lot more, it's more high end level. So what I'm doing now, a, a professional resume that you can use and you can just fill in, okay? If you want to purchase, please click link in the description, okay? So I hope this video will help you and not only you're able to get to work, but you're also able to unleash your creativity and moving forward and doing more what you can do.